Everybody, let's see who we have here. We'll get started in just a couple of minutes. You are welcome to type things in the comments to say hello. I'd love to greet you all. and get started today. How is everybody doing? Hi guys, it's so good to see you. Have you guys had a good week this week so far? Okay, good, me too. Once again, I've had some really good days and I've had some kind of sad days. Hi Debbie, how are you? It's so good to see you. Welcome to story time. We're gonna sing our hello song again. Does anybody out there remember how to say hello in sign language? Do you remember? Yep, it's like this, hello. And then who remembers how to say friend? Does anybody remember? Can you tell me? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get those two fingers up and then what do they do? They kind of hug like friends. All right, sing with me. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, everybody. I am going to try to do something different today. Um, we're going to do a little bit of show and tell. I have this bag right here filled with all sorts of goodies. Let's see what I brought today. And maybe you can guess what we are going to talk about if you haven't already figured it out yet. Let's see. First thing we have is, oh, this little bunny rabbit right here. This is something that my grandmother gave me. Say hi, rabbit. So it's very special to me. So we have this little bunny rabbit. Let's see what else we have. Oh, this right here. Oh, is it upside down? It's upside down. There we go. This has been in our family for a little while. I like it because of all of the bright colors. It's made out of paper and you can open it up. And I don't think you guys can read on the inside, but it said that the container was made in West Germany. So 
So I really like this. Can you guess what we're going to sing about and talk about yet? Well, I have one more thing for you. We're going to dig in this bag. And I have this egg that my mom made. It has a little ribbon on top. We have some flowers right here. And it's special because, get real close, can you see inside? What do you see? Can you see it right there? We have a bunny rabbit inside. So let me put that down there. Those are my three. Oh. Now I only put three things in my bag, but it seems like there's a fourth thing. Did you guys sneak something into my bag? Huh. What is this? It looks like an egg to me. And there's something inside. Well, let's open it up. And let's, oh, somebody left me some chocolate. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then what else? We have, huh, it looks like a note. It looks like we have a note right here on an Easter egg. Let's see what it says. It says, what? There's an Easter egg hunt. When? Tuesday, April 7th through Sunday, April 12th. Where? Well, since you can't leave your house, it's going to be at portlandtnlibrary.com. And this note says, find the number of eggs I've hidden on the website and tell me how many you found on Portland Library's Facebook. I'm giving away a $15 Amazon gift card to one lucky family. And nobody signed the note, but I do see a paw print right there. Huh. Not really sure, but uh, thank you, whoever sent me the note, and thank you for the chocolate. I am going to have that for desserts today. So can you guess what we're talking about? Yep, we're talking all about rabbits. It is springtime and lots of people think about flowers that are growing outside. They might think about rabbits during springtime or even some chickens too. Um, and sometimes people receive rabbits and chickens as gifts during this time. And I just wanted to remind you, it's a big responsibility to have a pet and you need to know how to take care of it. So if you are thinking about getting a rabbit for Easter, um, I wanted to tell you about an ebook that I found. It's called Raising a Healthy Rabbit by Nancy Searle. And you can either download it on the Libby app or you can go to our website and click on the Tennessee Reads banner and you can download it for free with your library card there. So once again, it's called Raising a Healthy Rabbit by Nancy Searle. And it'll tell you all sorts of information about how you can take care of your new pet rabbit. Next, I'm gonna tell you a story about this rabbit called Little Bunny Foo Foo, who is always getting into trouble. And you are more than welcome to help me with this. Can you make a little bunny like this? We have the two ears and it's gonna go hopping through the forest. And then the bunny scoops up the field mice and bops them on the head. So can you do that? We're gonna have it hopping through the forest and it scoops up the field mice and bops them on the head. Are you ready to help me, Roland? <clears throat> All right, so we have little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. And then down came the good fairy and she said, little bunny foo foo, Foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. I am going to give you three chances to behave. And if you don't, I am going to turn you into a goon. So the next day, little bunny Foo Foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. 
And then down came the good fairy. And she said, little bunny foo-foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I am going to give you two more chances to behave. And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goon. So then the next day, little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. This guy never learns. So then down came the good fairy and she said, little bunny foo foo, I don't want to see you scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. Listen, little bunny foo foo. I am going to give you one more chance to behave. And if you do not behave, I am going to turn you into a goon. And it's not going to be pretty. So let's see what happens the next day. Does he listen? Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest, scooping up the field mice and popping them on the head. That's it. That's it. I am done with you, little bunny foo-foo. I am going to turn you into a goon. So poof. And the moral of the story is hair today, goon tomorrow. Thank you guys for singing along and listening with me. Um, now we're going to stand up. Make sure you have lots of space around you because we're going to do all of our twists. I'm going to make some space too. I'm going to move back my rocking chair. We don't want to bump into anything because we're actually going to stand up and we're going to sing all of our twists together. Do you guys remember? So we start with our hands on our hips. So all of our twist. He can't do this. So it's okay if you can't snap either. Can you clap your hands? Can you touch your knees? Can you touch your toes? And then we're gonna hop up like a bunny rabbit. Up he goes. I'm actually gonna scoot this over a little bit and I think I'm going to put back on my bunny ears. Are you guys ready? How about we start with um, five? Is five a good, good number? All right. To all the five-year-olds out there, Oliver, twist, 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 twist. Can't do this, 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 this. Clap your hands, 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 hands. Touch your knees, 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 knees. Touch your toes, 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 toes. Up he goes, 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 goes. Whew. Anybody else tired? How about we take away one and do four? Is anybody out there four? All right. Hi, four-year-olds. This one's for you. You ready? Oliver, twist, 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 twist. Can't do this, 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 this. Clap your hands, 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 hands. Touch your knees, 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 knees. Touch your toes, 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 toes. Up he goes, 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 goes. Whew, I'm still kind of tired all after all that. Can we can we take one away? We started with four. We're gonna take one away and do how many? Three. Who out there is three? Oh, hi, three-year-olds. You ready? Oliver, twist, twist, twist. Can't do this, this, this. Clap your hands, hands, hands. Touch your knees, knees, knees. Touch your toes, toes, toes. Up he goes, goes, goes. Very good. So we just did three. We're gonna take one away and do how many? Two, that's right. Hands on your hips, are you ready? Oliver, twist, twist. Can't do this, this. Clap your hands, hands, touch your knees, knees, touch your toes, toes, up he goes, goes. Whew. So we started with five. We took one away and did four. Took one away and did three. Took one away and did two. And now we're gonna take one away and do one. That's right. And when we do it once, we like to go as fast as we can. Whew. 
So take a big breath in. One more time. Are you ready? Oliver Twist, can't do this, clap your hands, touch your knees, touch your toes, up he goes. Whew. <laughs> well done, everybody. Thank you for doing Oliver Twist with me. That is the last thing we have for today, except for our goodbye song. Do you remember how to say goodbye? It's a little different from hello. Let's see. Yeah, it's like this. Goodbye. So sing with me. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everybody. If you want to do another story time, you can join me at 3.30 this afternoon, where we're going to write a Mad Lib about pets. And don't forget our lapsit program for infants and toddlers. That is going to be on Friday morning at 10.30. Bye, everybody.